everyone welcome back to another FSD beta video so today we are doing another snow test uh, I'm going to replicate the same test I've done last time but this time what I'm doing is um, yeah what what is going on is that it is actually snowing even more so we've got almost around four inches of snow and uh, Right there, if you were watching, I just re reduced the autopilot speed limit a little bit. So yeah, it's going a little bit too fast. It's clear at the intersection. Yeah, so we lowered it at the at the most setting. Okay, so actually we have a little bit more leeway, so 25%. Uh, I recall last year it used to go down just to 20%, to be honest. Uh, but I think that used to be the current speed. So yeah, let's try 25%. Uh, I think that's a little bit more of a realistic, uh, realistic speed limit for these kind of roads. So the f so it started snowing, um, and then the snow didn't actually catch that much on the on the streets. So the street became wet, and then as the temperature went down, uh, went lower than uh, minus 10, I think. Uh, it became slippery and now after we got a lot more snow um, Let's see if it's gonna do this turn over here. Okay, very good uh, After we got a lot of snow, so it became more slippery nice breaking early on over here. I really like this It's gonna come to a complete stop And you can see the sliding over here And the car got a little bit confused and adjusted the steering wheel. That was pretty pretty cool to see yeah, this, this intersection is very slippery. So you can see the car is not uh, handling it that well. Uh, I'm actually gonna try and lower the speed limit even more. Oh, that is the lowest. So to minus 25% is the lowest. Uh, this intersection is also notorious to be very icy. I'm hoping the car is gonna stop earlier. No, it's not. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dis disengage over here. And slow it down car not slowing down on icy intersection in snow conditions there we go so yeah uh, I really liked having the current speed limit actually to lower down because then you can aggressively lower down your speed limit at any point so instead of doing 40 uh, 30 on a 40 you'll be doing 20 on a 40 so half the speed limit which is much more uh, much more better for driving with FSD on snow um, see how it deals with this incom car incoming over here that's pretty good okay so if you folks uh, like my videos uh, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel It'll help me a lot I've uh, I've been uh, doing FSD videos since last uh, year and last winter I've done loads of testing uh, so I have a lot of experience on driving FSD on snow. Uh, so yeah, please uh, leave any comments uh, at, the, at the bottom of the video to let me know what do you think. Um, you know, let me know what what are your thoughts about FSD on snow. And if you have any suggestions, let me know at the at the com comments in the bottom below. Uh, if you are looking at buying a Tesla, please uh, look at my referral link. I've, I'll note it down at the bottom of the video and in the description. So if you are looking for a car, a Tesla, ooh, it's got to it's got to slow down a little bit more over here. Nicely done, nicely done. All right, so we've got our first destination. So yeah, if you are looking at buying a Tesla, follow my referral link and you'll get um, five hundred dollars off. Is it doing that? Continue trip. There we go. Yeah, uh, follow the referral link and you'll get five hundred or one thousand dollars off your car uh, if you're buying a new Tesla, and you'll also get three months of free FSD to try out for yourself. Okay, so we're stopping at an intersection. We're gonna wait until it turns on and then we have probably a unprotected left to do over here. There are no incoming cars, so we should be in a good shape. Let's see how it does this turn. Uh, there's a lot of piled up uh, mud. 
sticking to its lane. It's not really being a little bit too much aggressive uh, sticking on the on the left lane there. I would be a little bit more cautious if I was driving myself. Uh, over here, you can see on this street, there are no lanes. You can't see them because of all the uh, piled up snow. And it's actually driving very well. And yeah, we're coming up over here to this intersection. We should start slowing down here. It's not really finding its lane over here properly. So it did stop over the snow bank just on the left of us. A little bit of a misalignment on the positioning, but uh, it's not the end of the world. If there was a car on our left hand side on the turning lane, it would have stopped in a better position. We've got the green light over here. The car is slowly accelerating. Uh, yesterday when we did the testing, when the green light went on, the car didn't actually move. Uh, I'm not sure if that was uh, uh, an, an issue due to the snow. We are getting close to the snow bank, to the, to the pavement over here on our, on our left hand side. We've seen this issue last year in winter and I did actually hit the curb once so I wouldn't really repeat uh, I would caution, like, be careful about that, because uh, that does actually happen. Yeah. Slowing down here. Very good. So I really like the braking, uh, the braking area and the braking zone. Obviously, that is a factor of the autopilot uh, speed limit set down to minus twenty-five percent of its actual speed. So. That does actually help and we are on chill mode I think yesterday I didn't drive in chill mode so we've got the green flashing light and the car is reacting instantly really like the detection of the of the green lights over here a little bit of a fish tailing not too aggressive nothing really crazy to be scared about so happy with that so far out of the turns I think it's just the first one that scared me a little bit so I had to disengage we were coming up on a very fast uh, speed um, and I didn't want to take that turn with such speed because I know that that intersection is notorious to be icy. And here you go, you can see on the visualization we almost see no lanes but the car is driving on a very good positioning of the on the right hand side. Um, let's see if it detects us, it doesn't really detect the 30 kilometer speed zone so I'm going to slow down here minor intervention very nice very nice i really like how it's how it's driving it's slow it's not uh too aggressive it's not jerky too much on the steering wheel um it's really good uh, version 11 is actually good so I talked a little bit about it on X and on my video yesterday. Um, I kind of find the, ooh, and this is a little bit too fast, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I find that uh, the behavior at the takeoff on the intersections are actually uh, advantageous for um, for these kind of for these kind of weather. Um, you know snowy conditions because uh, the takeoff in version 11 is actually very slow at the intersection here it's gonna be icy so yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna disengage here I already I already fishtailed here yesterday and yeah you can see it's it's not really aligned properly so um, yeah I already fished fishtailed here yesterday when I was doing my testing so I don't want to do the same thing again But yeah, the slow takeoffs with version 11 at the intersection is actually good for snow conditions because uh, once you take off on an intersection, you really need to be slow at doing that. That left turn was really done well. It's not really going fast. Here we've got a fully snow covered area. We've experienced this issue last year as well where the, the car kind of tends to go behind parked cars and drive on, on snow banks and uh yeah so that seems to be still there and this is um partially because of 
um, you can't see lane uh, lane markings with snow so all the snow is covering all the lane markings so you don't really see that let's see how it acts up over here not too bad yeah very happy so yeah a couple of disengagements I guess uh, we are coming up to a busy street now we'll see how it, it does that and we are headed to the grocery store again um, and we'll stop the video there but yeah I guess um, after this uh, the snow is going to start melting and I'll probably do another test but uh, uh, I'll probably wait it out till we get more more snow or we get uh, another new version coming up soon so the creep wall over here actually doing very well with this creep at uh, just accelerated finding that uh, the visibility on the left is clear so it was able to um, it was able to exit very smoothly and uh, in a fast manner this is really good I'm very happy with how it's performing okay so over here we're getting a little bit of an issue so because of the lane markings not being uh, too uh, visible here we are driving on the snow banks it kind of tends to see the snow banks as lane markings and tries to drive over them it's not the end of the world it's just uh, when you start getting cars um, you know driving next to you it kind of gets confused then okay so we're coming up to this turn over here yeah, we're getting too close to the it would have been probably okay but I just need to I would like to ear on the safe side and not get it too close there because I don't want it to get sucked into the snowbank yeah, and it's doing this very well actually it's getting too close to that to that pavement yeah it doesn't really see those pavements okay so that's another issue I mean you can argue and say that these are inside parking lot areas and FSD is not parking lot ready. Um, but yeah, it's still an issue. Right, we're going to find ourselves some parking over here and hit the store for a couple of things. But yeah, uh, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, as, as I mentioned, if you're looking for buying a Tesla, please use my referral code to support me and uh, support my videos of FSD and uh, yeah a couple of disengagements I guess a third one for the parking lot over here and um, hope you folks really like this video please hit like if you're watching this on X please repost it'll help me a lot and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next one hope you folks have a nice day